What's up, YouTube viewers? It's Head of Mirrors Dragon coming out with you, coming at you with another video. I can't even speak today. Uh, yeah. Oh, check it out. Rocking the new hat. Hidden Leaf Village Ninja, baby. Yeah, baby. Hidden Leaf Ninja, baby. Anyway, today, um, one thing that came up. Somebody sent me a message. Actually, somebody sent me a message saying, "Head of Mirrors Dragon, I, I really do love your videos. I really do." But I got a question. How are the women in your life doing? And uh, I was like, well, I, I pretty I asked him to rephrase that so I know what he's talking about. So I'm not gonna say his name, by the way. Um, he didn't like. Okay, I better rephrase that. Um, how like how are your relationships with other women doing? I said, it, well, huh, since my last girlfriend, uh, things been going pretty hectic actually. But to be honest, I did try my very best to um, like focus on my schoolwork, focus on my work, focus on everything I have and everything else in my life too. But it seemed like every time I tried to go after another girl, they either write me off or think I look weird, don't like my vibe or anything like that, or even I go as far as to say it can kind of block me off of Facebook, even if I just said, hey. So, <sighs> man, it's kind of tough right now. I really don't know what to say. I I am a gentleman. I really am a gentleman. I respect women for where, whatever they go for. If I have a girlfriend, which I did have a girlfriend, I treat her right. I treat her with respect. I don't do anything terrible like, you know, treat her like crap or anything. I don't hit women. I don't do anything like that. I just treat them like a woman, like a lady. And um, I told them, it's just, it's kind of, it's kind of, kind of weird. Right now, I mean, I mean, my ex-girlfriend, we we hit it off pretty well. Even our breakup was pretty well. But um, I try not to let things like this kind of upset me. You know, like uh, like even if I show a picture of myself, even if it's shirtless. Some people might say I look weird, or some people might say that uh, stop showing off your abs and all like that. Well, one thing for sure, if you're showing off your body like that, like how I'm shirtless and I'm showing off my body, I'm not showing that just to show how much of a, uh, of a tail whore or idiot I am or how much of a self-centered jerk I am. I'm showing that I'm showing off what I worked off. What's the point of me working out if I can't show it off to anybody else? I mean, I don't have to go in front of the camera and just say, hey, Guys, this is Head of Man's Dragon. I know I'm shirtless right now, but hey, you can tell I've been working out. I'm not doing that. I'm just doing this. I'm just saying, hey, I am living a fit, full life. I am living a beautiful, blessed life that God has created for me. I am not doing anything else. I'm not trying to show off. I'm not trying to be the one who is trying to be a rude guy. I'm not trying to be a jerk. I'm not trying to be a self-centered, egotistical man who's trying to make up for what he's lacking. I'm not doing that. I'm just showing off what I have been training off from the for the past years. I mean, I've been in martial arts for a very long while. I try my very best to be who I am. I try not to be somebody I'm not. Also, I try my very best not to be the one who's like saying, "Oh man, I don't have a girlfriend. Oh man, my girl. I'm, oh my gosh, I'm not. Oh my gosh, what's going on? I'm, I mean, why are the girls not liking me?" Um, well, I'm not that type of guy who just go like that. I would just be the type of guy who would be like, you know, well, this happens. Every girl comes in my life and co goes out. And some girls who don't want to be part of my life are trying to make it very clear that they don't want me in their life at all. So I'm not going to force them to like me. I'm not going to force them to uh, appreciate me, accept me. If they want to write me off, go ahead, write me off. Guess what? That just proves that I'm not here for your entertainment. That just proves that God has not created me for you. God has created me for somebody else. And if you're not going to give me the time of the day, guess what? I'm just going to write you off like you ripped me off. And I'm not going to say anything to you. I'm just going to say, peace. Bye. I'm just going to walk right out of that room like I had no problem. Like nothing is wrong. And to those of you guys out there who are like having troubles with women, if some woman that you want to get with doesn't really like talk to you, don't waste your time going after her. Don't. Don't. I mean, literally. I mean, if, if you guys, like, met on Facebook or met on Tinder or met on, like, some other, maybe some school or maybe some uh, workplace, 
if the girl is not going to call you back, don't bother sending her a text message. Don't even bother talking to her. I mean, she may be busy. She may be busy. But if she shows, like, after a couple, for a while, that she's not really into you, that she's not going to give you time of day to text back or say, hey, how's it going? Or are you going to text back or something like that? I'm not saying you should text back every single day, but I mean, like, you know, every now and then she doesn't really text you or say, how you doing? You know, get to talk to you like that. Don't bother. Don't waste your time and don't waste your God-given hours trying to go out to somebody who obviously don't want you. That's what I do. And men and uh, like us men, we we are hunters. We are like like what Steve Harvey said. We we are hunters. We we look for a woman that we like and we go after her. Now, if the woman that for me, I'm, I'm not saying for every dude, but for me, if it's a woman that I am interested in, but for some reason I do manage to get her, maybe her uh, Instagram, her number, or maybe her Facebook, and for some reason she's still not showing them that type of you know lingo that she wants me then I'm not going to waste my time because that's just me. I mean, I want a woman who will who, who who will like me, who will love me for me. Not a woman to say, oh, he don't look right. Oh, his hair looks weird. Oh, he talks weird. He talks funny. He looks funny. He looks ridiculous. Uh, his body is out of shape or something like that. I mean, his, he's fit, but he's not the type of fit I'm in. Well, guess what? That just proves I'm not really your type. Doesn't that mean that? I'm, that just proves I'm not really who you want me to be. And that also proves that I can just walk away from this conversation. I can just cut you off. I literally don't have to have your number. I literally don't have to have your Facebook. I literally don't have to have any type of conversation that gets you. Guess what's going to happen? When I hit big and hit that big money, I won't be looking so weird now, would I? <laughs> I won't be looking so, oh, he's the nose big. Like Steve Harvey said, I remember off of one series of his, uh, like one episode he did. Let's, let's see if I can remember it. <laughs> Steve Harvey says something like, hey, okay, like, oh, I don't like his nose. Oh, his lips too big. Oh, he's bald-headed. Oh, he's like, what's, what's the other thing he said? Um, Oh, he doesn't look right. He just looks funny. Oh, like, his mustache too big. Well, guess what? Turn your TV on. How do you like me now? <laughs> the dude has four jobs. The dude has his own plate. By the way, Steve Harvey is one of my one of my top inspirations. He really is. He's one of my top inspirations. Next to Jackie Chan, Bruce Lee, and um, Jet Li with Tony Jaw as well. Um, uh, I I really do understand what when he or either of them are giving like proverbs or or emotional quotes that will help you out in your lifetime. And for me, um, if a woman doesn't really, if she's not really interested in me, I'm not gonna waste my time with you. And ladies. Like ladies who are like going on my Facebook, sending me messages and stuff like that. Also, one thing too, I like to mention, I'm not really into that, like, like webcam thing. Like, you know how many times like somebody like goes on your on your Facebook and sends you like some of those webcam things, like to say like you can see me on my webcam. I just completely exit those things off. I don't have time for that. That's just that that's that to me. I that's basically where stalkers go. That's basically where stalkers go. I'm not doing that. I'm not going to do that. I, I'd rather meet a woman face to face, get to know her back to back. This is me. I'm a Gemini. And if you don't know what a Gemini is, look that up. Because a Gemini is a person who loves flip flopping around. Doesn't like staying in one place for very long. Otherwise, we go crazy. We love knowledge. And if we're looking for a relationship, we're looking for somebody who will actually keep our interest going. Not somebody who would just stop at one moment, bring it right back. And then go back to it again. Oh, then go back, right, 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 right back. What about that? Rewind it. No, we're, we're not going to do that. If it's, if it's a schedule, if it's a schedule with your type of idea, we're not going to go with you. And if you're the type of woman who just happened to just find me on Facebook, uh, talk to me in real life, I try to get to know you, you know, so we can really hit it off well, so we can be more than just friends, you know, chica. And you just happen to just write me off or block me. Guess what? I'm going to write you off and block you too. I'm going to walk right out of this conversation. I'm going to walk right out of it because I'm not spending my time trying to find somebody who will not love me. It's kind of like moving in with, with a woman or for us dudes. It's kind of like, well, it's, actually, it's kind of like moving in with somebody. It's for everybody, for both men and women, for this thing. It's like moving in with somebody who obviously don't want you in their house, who obviously don't love you, who obviously just wanted your money, who just wanted something else other than you. Don't waste your time with somebody who does not want you. All right. Life is too short for you to start worried about that stuff. And also, 
uh, men and women, if you see there's this type of scam coming up, like when you are trying to get to this person, but this person is not getting the effort to come back to you. You sure you can give it like a couple of times, like a couple of tries and stuff like that, like once or twice, maybe three times. But that fourth time starts getting a little old. That fourth time. Once that fourth time hits, that's when everything starts going, like stops. That's when everything stops. You go like, you know what? I'm not bothering you. I'm not picking with you. I'm not going to talk to you. I'm just going to just completely be like my hat. Guess what? Can't see me now, can you? No, you can't. Because you know why? I'm out. <sighs> so. That's pretty much it for this video. Uh, I know I may not be giving the best advice in the world. I may not be helping anybody else. And I'm sure you guys have your own opinions as well. But I'm just giving out what I, how I deal with relationships. And how I deal with things. Like, be honest. I... I, I <laughs> I thank God for everything that's happened to me. I thank God for everything that he has given to me. Sure, there were some tough and rough times that came into my life, but I kept going. I tried not to stop. I kept I, I kept my head up high. I kept my spirits up high. Even if I got knocked down a bit, guess what? God manages to make me real, real, rebuild them back up to a point where I don't have to worry about distractions, or problems, people who I don't want to be in my life, or people who don't want to help me. But guess what? I thank you, God. And soon enough in my life, when the time is right, when I don't have to look for that woman anymore, guess what happens? He's going to give me that one woman, that one woman that he made for me. And I'm the man that I'm the man that um, that made for her. That, I'm the man that he made for her. And we're both going to live a happy, blissful life. Hang on. Check something out right here. Sorry, I dropped something down. <laughs> But, um, yeah, th this may be, um, a pretty much a, uh, deep situation or maybe like a deep type of conversation. But if you guys and girls are also having a problem in your life, how I handle it, I'm just saying, don't come back at me with those bad comments, but I'm just giving you how I handle things. I'm just saying, this is how I roll. If, um, you just happen to have somebody that you want to be in your life, but obviously they have not shown much reaction saying they want to be back in your life. They don't even have to say it. They don't really have to say it. They, all they have to do is just not respond. They just not respond to you. If they don't respond to you within like a couple of days or a weeks, or maybe within the week, nobody's that busy. Somebody at some point had to go back home. But if they don't come back or come back to you, don't bother coming back to them. They are like a leaf, like Tyler Perry said. They're like a leaf, or at least Medea said. They're like a leaf on the tree. Some days those leaves are gonna blow off, and those and they, that's what they are—a leaf. They're gonna blow off to a different tree, blow off to somewhere else. Guess what? None of those leaves are gonna stay there for the entire time. The only thing you can be sure that will be standing there the entire time is the roots, is the tree itself, unless somebody chops it down. But guess what? There's going to be other trees. That branch is strong. That tree is strong. You got to understand. For how I will say it, you guys got to understand this. How I say it, fire. Now, that fire that's burning in your in your stomach, in your belly right there, that's, that's making you who you are, that's building up inside you, that makes you what you want to be in real life, that's the fire that you need to be fueled. And guess what? When people give you that burn, Guess what? That's more wood that's added to the fire. That's gonna burn right up. That's more fuel, and it's gonna. It should either persuade you to keep growing, or persuade you to not try, and to just die out. Don't do that. Let whatever happens and bad things that happen to you, that happens for a reason. Let that stuff grow inside your. In, like let that stuff be a fire. All the bad stuff is like wood. All the good stuff is also like wood, but that's a good type of wood. All that wood is going to go right into your heart, all right there into your heart, and also in your belly to a point where it starts gathering more, and then the fires just get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, and you just got to blow on it. And once you blow on it, like to get like to like strengthen it, that fire is going to grow fire, and that fire is going to go strong. It's going to go bigger. It's going to go so big that it's kind of like you, you got all this energy. And it's, it's so good that nobody's going to nobody's gonna dampen your spirits. Nobody's going to ruin your good day. Somebody can say, shut the freak up. And then guess what? You're going to be like, okay, see you later. 
because you're already happy. That fire is going to grow up. It's going to be helpful. But that's pretty much it. I'm going to say see you guys later. And um, uh, stay blessed and don't worry about what people are saying about you. Just do what you need to do. All right. So peace out. Yeah. yeah.